Alrighty, welcome to another Freelance Fridge video tutorial. Still working on this scuba shark guy. In this video tutorial, I wanted to show you how to cut holes into the bottom of your figure. Uh, sometimes this is something necessary um, for uh, saving a little uh, cost on plastic if there's a hole in your figure, especially for very small figures for vending. A lot of times they want a hole cut in the bottom so that they can save on weight and the cost associated with the plastic. So here on this figure, he's a little bit trickier because he's not intended for the tiny, tiny, tiny size, but I'm still going to cut some holes in the bottom of his feet here. So all I've done is I've used insert a cylinder and I've created two cylinders and I've lined them up in the bottom of his feet. I'll pull one out to the side just to show you. This is actually um, uh, goes up this far into his leg and when you're doing this and you're lining up this uh, this cylinder to cut into your object you just want to make sure that when you're lining it up you don't have it too large or something where once you line it up, you see it coming out of the side of the figure somewhere, out of a crack or something like that. It can be very subtle sometimes where you can barely see it, like right there in the crease of his leg. I don't know if you can see that in the video. So you just want to make sure that you line it up in a way where you're not seeing it come out of somewhere where you don't want it to come out of the figure. And then it's very simple to um, to cut these out. I know we had a little bit of a challenge on another video with this, um, but we've got it down now. Um, so you just click on one of these. You're going to change its mode here to this one where it looks like it's trimming out into it. And then just click on your main piece, which is above the shark. You're going to merge down with that and then just use control uh, left click and drag off in the gray area and af you do that after the merge and then it's processing at the moment but you'll see it'll trim out that cylinder from the shark's foot so we'll just give it a moment here to process I have a pretty high mesh on this shark figure so that's why it's taking a little bit of time here. There you go. You can see that it's all cut out. And you can kind of just double check and look around to make sure that there's not light escaping through a side hole in his leg or something like that. But then at this point, we just click on the other cylinder again change it to this particular mode then click back on your shark merge down and then control click and drag off to the side and it's going to re-identify that mesh including the hole we just made and bada bing bada boom we've got the holes cut into the bottom of the figure and we're good to go. And the model is now ready to um, uh, decimate and then prepare for 3D print, which I'll cover in another tutorial. Thanks for watching.